Hello YouTube, this is Gigabyte World. I have a quick tutorial for you today. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get the channel growing. We are currently at 720 subscribers. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of May. It's possible. It might end up going to the first week of June, but hey, let's try. Subscribe to the channel for more content. My macbook related or windows related please subscribe to the channel like and share so i have a quick tutorial for you today i have noticed this on quite a few machines the current machine that i'm working on uh, is a 15 inch macbook from 2011 and i was trying to upgrade this unit to run catalina so i have a, a version of catalina that has a patch on it and i would like to run Carolina on the 2011 I'll do some uh, memory upgrades I'm going to add at least uh, I'm going to have it running at least uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and add um, a solid state drive I believe it's going to be either 512 gigabytes of uh, solid state or 1 terabyte solid state drive so that is what I plan to do but before I do that I noticed that uh, this unit is saying a firmware update is required to be able to boot from AP, APFS volumes. So the way around this to resolve this situation is you're going to have to up, update the unit to Mac OS Sierra or Mac OS High Sierra, either of those two. If you update the firmware to Mac OS Sierra or High Sierra, you should be able to then install Catalina or install Mojave. If you do not do that, you won't be able to upgrade this unit uh, from Lion straight to MicroOS Catalina or Mojave. So what you do is uh, if you have a USB drive that has the Sierra, run that first, install the Sierra on the unit, update the firmware, or if you... Uh, you have Wi-Fi then install it using the internet recovery uh, how do you do that you press command option R when it's booting and that will take you to internet recovery so you you shut off the unit first when it boots up you press command option R keep on holding those keys until you see a spinning uh, globe and then you're going to connect it to your Wi-Fi um update the unit to high sierra uh, uh mac or uh, update it to high sierra if it is like an older unit that is not able to to run um mojave or run uh, catalina so update it to the high sierra and then after that um you should be able to then install Catalina after that, but before you do that you are not going to be able to run uh, Catalina you can ignore the message and uh, proceed with the installation but after the you have installed the, the the Operating system after you've installed Catalina you're still not going to be able to put so my advice is either install the high Sierra or install Mac OS uh, Either install the Sierra or install Mac OS high Sierra first and then after you, the firmware has been updated, then you can come back and try and install Mojave or Catalina. Well, I hope this has been beneficial to you. If it has been beneficial, please consider subscribing to the channel, like and share the video. Thank you.